going to do quite a lot of detail, and it's really about alignment. And it starts off in the chair and how you carry what you learn in the chair to standing up and to going to the floor and getting up. So we're going to break everything down in small pieces and give you as much clarity as possible. And then the final video will be the full exercise. So, starting point, you need to sit right on top of your sitting bones. Right on top of the sitting bones. So that there's a straight line from the top of the head to the sitting bones. Broad back, broad chest. The back and the chest equally is broad. Shoulders dropping down into the body. Scapulas moving away from each other. Head in line with the spine. Arms loose and hanging with a lot of weight. The thighs must come straight out of the hips so that they are the same distance apart as your hips are wide. Okay? 90 degrees at the hip, 90 degrees at the knee, and let's just get her heel go slightly forward, both of them please. Heel directly underneath the knee. So you've got 90 degrees at the ankle, 90 degrees at the knee, 90 degrees at the hip. Most important, <coughs> center line of the thigh must be in line with center line of the shin, must be in line with center line of the foot at all times. We well, get used to that first. A lot of your new students, particularly the ones that don't have a lot of training, will not be able to sit up straight. Okay? That is to prepare them to stand. So just go through with the monkey. And then the posture in the standing position coming from the side is exactly the same. Hanging from the head, broad back, broad chest, shoulders above the hips, hips above the knees, knees above the above the heels. That then is carried through to, to rising up. So rise up and the posture is exactly the same. They Curling through the spine. So hang down Jay. <clears throat> My experience tells me that when students do this for the first time they shut the thighs, so just shut your thighs, and this sort of thing happens, okay? So what you want is allow the legs to flop open so that the torso can drop straight through the thighs. So all that's happened, your thighs are just relaxing open and then come to the side. Now, uncurling through the spine has to start at the bottom of the spine. The, these two sitting bones need to press into the chair and then that, by pressing down here, that brings the pelvis erect. The pelvis drags the rest of the spine up so that you uncurl through the spine one bone at a time. What is of utmost importance is that the head and the arms must hang loose. Don't hold the head. You will find a lot of students try to pick the head up. The spine must drag the head up. The spine must drag the arms up. The head and the arms must hang loosely so that, you, that the weight of the leg and the arms help you to separate the bones in the spine. So let's do, just do that once more please, last time. So, I, I have sprayed my hands. The weight of the head is like a loose. The arms are nice and loose and they just hang. This is where the work starts. You press the sitting bones down into the pelvis. The pelvis drags the, legs, the spine up one bone at a time. The weight of the arms and the legs help to separate the bones and there. Your next stage from that is going to a monkey stand up. Okay. So, once they've gotten used to that, they've been standing up, so hang down. What is of utmost importance most of your students, when they're in this position, will drop the pelvis there. You don't want that. The sitting bones, the knees are relaxed, but the sitting bones, you try to point them at the ceiling. Now, you imagine that the chair is underneath the sitting bones, and you place your sitting bones into the chair, and by bringing the pelvis up, you now drag 
the spine up one bone at a time and then we return to that position.